Hello, my favorite grade one students. I hope you are all so well today. We're almost at the end of the week and I know we're all very excited for the weekend. Today is the 6th of May and it's narrative writing. And I'm so excited because today we're going to learn how to do something called an acrostic poem. It sounds incredibly complicated, but let's have a look at, at it together. What is an acrostic poem? It's a very big word. An acrostic poem is fun poetry that anyone can write. To begin with, an acrostic is a poem in which the first letters of each line spell out a word or phrase. The word or phrase can be a name, a thing, or whatever you like. Acrostics are easy to write because they don't need to rhyme and each line can be as long or as short as you want it to be. Let's look at some examples together. Here you can see the student's name is Esther. Esther has written her name in the blocks on the left hand side. You can see E S T H E R. Esther then has written things about herself, things that she likes or things that she wants to do or things that she can do. Let's have a look. Under E, she writes, eats a lot. Under S, she writes that she sings. T, she writes, tries to paint. H, she's written, has a lot of toys. Under E, she's put excellent at coloring and R, she puts remembers to clean. Let's look at another example. This one is done by a student called Hade. Under H, he's put his name, Hade, which is probably a nickname. And you can see he's written his name all the way down, Hayden, H-A-Y-D-E-N. And against each one of those alphabet letters, he's written something that he likes to do or something that he enjoys. Okay. Let's look at another example. This one is done by someone called Marilyn. So Marilyn has written her name on the left hand side, M-A-R-I-L-Y-N. And she's written in things starting with the alphabet letters in her name. You can see under R she's put remembers and under L she's put loves mom and dad. Here's another one by a student called Jaden. You can see Jaden has written his name in the blocks and then he's written jumping for J. And all the way down, he's put even at the Y, he's put yawning. So anything that tells me about you, about things you like, and about things you want to do or about things you are doing. Here is a copy of my acrostic poem. T for Tracy. R for reads a lot. A for America because I love traveling there. C for clean because I like to be clean. E for eats tomatoes because I love tomatoes. And Y for yellow because that's a color that I really like. So as part of your homework, I want you to do your own acrostic poem. You will write your name and your class. You will then draw a picture of the things that you like or the things that you are going to write about. On the blocks on the left hand side of the page, like I've done, write your name. Use only one of your names and then use those alphabet letters to write something about yourself. If 
you have any questions about the work, please let mom and dad send me a message on Edmodo. Please give this a try. I think it's a lot of fun and it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. You can write one word or you can write a sentence using the alphabet letters in your name. I hope you have a wonderful time and lots of fun doing this. Have a great day. I will speak to you tomorrow in our Zoom lesson. Goodbye.